Mark, what's the long-term health outlook for teens, children with chronic pancreatitis? Well, as already has been said, it is a disease that, that's quite variable. And some patients will, will do well. But the majority of patients will eventually develop chronic pain. And some may even need to be on chronic pain medications. Uh, and the pain may be enough that it disrupts their life. And so their quality of life will suffer. And there can be emotional problems and interactional problems with the, the family as well. As we discussed, some of these patients will develop pancreatic insufficiency or the inability to digest their foods. And that may well be the majority of, of patients over time. Typically, that will take at least 10 years of disease for it to develop, although it can happen sooner and it may not happen. Um, the other complication that we worry about in the outcome is diabetes. And a fair number of children will develop diabetes over time. The exact number is still a little bit unclear. Typically, that takes longer, maybe perhaps as long as uh, 20 years or 10 years after the onset of pancreatic insufficiency. But that also is variable. There are some kids who will develop it early on in the course. And so that needs to be watched carefully. Uh, I think the issue that many families worry about is pancreatic cancer. And I'd like to, to tell families that it's important that, to know that this typically happens at an older age. And it would be very unusual for a, a child to develop pancreatic cancer. We do talk with families about some of the etiologies that we know that contribute to pancreatic cancer. And now we know that in patients with chronic pancreatitis, the risk is greatly increased by smoking and perhaps drinking. And uh, I think it's important that the families and their child understand that the patient should not start drinking or smoke, and that this can have a great impact on the course of their disease over time. So the concept that these aspects are so far-reaching and uh, multifaceted really highlights the importance of patients with chronic pancreatitis being followed at a center that really can provide all of that multidisciplinary care. I think that's uh, very well said, and I would agree with that. Um, and it is important that uh, the center that your child at attends uh, has the, the capability to do this. Now that said, there are patients who live in areas where these aren't readily available. And in those cases, it may be very important for their physician to refer them to somebody who has a strong interest and in expertise in childhood pancreatic disorders to see uh, periodically. So it may help to, to be followed at a center that's with more capabilities if that, that's not readily available to you. Right, absolutely.